A lot of horsepower is always a good thing. Combine that on a car that weighs next to nothing, even better. Put a Kurs Regenerative Boost on that car, and it is sure to put a smile on your face. Did I mention you can get the best performing open wheel car in the game for absolutely free this week? Stay tuned to check out the podium vehicle, some Black Friday sales, and how to be prepared for the next update coming December 15th. Let's head into the casino and check out the podium vehicle for the week. Oh, welcome back guys to GTA Online. Podium vehicle this week is a good one. It is the new best performing open wheel car in the game. The new BR8, which was introduced most recently in the summer update. And as you saw in the intro there, I was driving around the PR4, which was the best open wheel car until this guy came around. So I myself will be spinning that wheel this week as I need this guy too. And uh, it's got to be in my collection as it should be in all of your collection as well. So definitely spin that wheel this week. All right, so Rockstar has added a lot of Black Friday sales and discounts uh, for the next three days from Friday the 27th until Monday the 30th. And first of all, you should not spend your money on anything if you do not have 15 million or more. My best guess for the Cayo Perico heist coming December 15th is you're going to want to have 15 million to get started to get the new submarine's headquarters, to customize it, and to be able to purchase two or maybe three of the new vehicles and customize those as well. So if you don't have 15 million or more, save your money. If you do have more than 15 million, then you might wanna look at a few of these Black Friday discounts if you don't have some of these already. Let's jump into them. We're going to start off on these sales as my recommendations for the most important and beneficial to own and we'll trickle down from there to more of the fun ones, optional ones, starting with the terabyte, which is 70% off for the next three days here, as well as all of the upgrades are 70% off. Very convenient as you can spawn this anywhere on the map. You can refill your ammunition for the special weapons, the Mark II weapons as well as uh, source crates for your CEO warehouses. And you do need this to have the Oppressor Mark II. So definitely a must own vehicle. You guys should all have this in your arsenal. Next up is the Oppressor Mark II. Very essential tool for money grinding from getting from point A to point B very quickly, especially for the MC sales. I use this a lot when I have a full sale for the MC businesses and I need to get back to the business to get another motorcycle or another boat. You can quick spawn this through the MC abilities as well. So definitely a must own, very uh, good tool for getting around the map. If you do not have the Swift Classic, you're definitely going to want to consider picking one up, especially at 70% off. Really is a steal. One of my favorite helicopters in the game. I love the retractable landing gear. It's a lot faster, significantly faster than the buzzard. So it'll get from point A to point B quicker. And you can call this from the casino, from the telephone or from your CEO office. So I do find myself flying in this a lot. And you can also pick up the flying Bravo variant for 70% off as well. Moving on to the supercars, we have 60% off the Deveste 8, which if you do not own the Krieger or the Emrys, you're going to want to pick this up because it's in the top five for being competitive in supercar races. And this is faster than the Emrys and the Krieger in a straight line. However, it falls behind in the corners and around the turns. So again, if you need a supercar for competitive racing, this is a good choice especially for this price. Speaking of fast vehicles, we have the fastest motorcycle in the game, the Shitaro, which you can pick up for 70% off, which is actually a steal 
compared to the $2.2 million price tag, which is outrageous. However, it is a one-of-a-kind experience to drive around the town of Los Santos, and it will absolutely blow your mind at what speed you can get around those corners. It is the best performing bike in the game. And uh, again, if you have 15 million or more and you have the essentials such as the terabyte, the uh, Oppressor Mark II, this is a very, very fun toy to own. You will not be disappointed with the Shitaro. And on to some weaponized vehicles. We have three weaponized vehicles that are on sale for the next three days. First one I would recommend picking up or owning is the Ruiner 2000, which you can get for 60% off. Because when you are a CEO, when you have your org active, you can start a job called Fully Loaded Ruiner, which you will get an upgraded version of this, but you have to own it to start that mission. When you get in that one, that thing can take about 20 rockets before blowing up. So if you're into PvP, uh, if you're worried about getting blown up in the free world, definitely this is a great one to have to pull out once in a while to throw people off in the fully loaded Ruiner. And the parachute and the jumping ability is loads of fun. One of my favorite things to mess around with with even the basic Ruiner. Not to mention, as an added bonus, you can stance this and it makes one hell of a drift car. It can get really sideways, loads of fun drifting around town also. Recommended vehicle number two would be the Scramjet, which is 60% off as well, which uh, has the jump ability and you can also use the rocket boost. And when you get the technique down, you can fly high into the sky and get some epic aerial kills. More of a fun factor than the Ruiner, but uh, very fun it is. Highly recommend having this one also. And last up is none other than the classic James Bond Lotus Esprit, which turns into a submarine, aka the Stromberg. This thing can take a few rockets before blowing up, which is good. Not nearly as many as the Ruiner 2000 though, which is why it's lower on the list. And turning into a submarine is very cool, but not as useful as the jumping abilities, the extra armor for the Ruiner 2000. But it is still a great classic vehicle, classic Lotus to have in your collection, and it looks great as well. All right, from this point moving forward, these are all going to be vehicles that are not really that useful. Uh, more for having a new toy to have fun with or something new for your collection. Starting off with the original Oppressor, which is 50% off. While it's not nearly as useful as the Mark II that we have now, it is still a very unique vehicle. There's nothing else like it with the physics of flying this thing. Those wings come out of the back and you have to use momentum and timing. It takes a lot more skill to uh, control the momentum like a hang glider, feels like you're a flying squirrel flying around the town. You have to hit the ground to get your boost again. So it's a whole new skill. There's no other vehicle like it. And it is very rewarding and it's sure to put a smile on your face. Next up is 70% off the B-11 Strike Force, AKA the A-10 Warthog. Always been one of my favorite planes ever since I was a kid. I had a model of it hanging from my ceiling and I still love it to this day. That uh, explosive cannon on the front is not very powerful, unfortunately. It does not do nearly as much damage as the Hydra or the Rogue. However, it is the best sounding explosive cannon in the game. Really a shame it doesn't do more damage, but this is a classic aircraft to have in your collection. 70% off, very tempting. A lot of people overlook the Bombushka, which you can pick up for 70% off as well. However, you can open the rear door of the plane. So if you go to uh, vehicles, doors, you can open the rear cargo door and uh, you can put vehicles in there. You can have your friends jump in. You could put a Ruiner 2000 in fly up high and drive out in parachute so it does make for some pretty fun scenarios with the bombushka with that rear opening door and last up is a few more aircraft on the elitas travel website with the swift deluxe which would be my next recommendation getting close to the end here 70 percent off only 1.5 million which is still a lot of money 
for that gold paint job. Only reason I'm putting this above the other vehicles is because it is the fastest helicopter in the game. Only slightly more than the Swift. The uh, Swift Classic is uh, slightly slower, but I still find myself flying the Swift Classic because I do prefer the black paint job. So again, 1.5 million, a lot cheaper than 5 million, but still a bit too much in my opinion. And second to last, we have 70% off the Luxor, the base model Luxor, which I would pass on even for that price. I always see them at every airport I go to. There's always a few of them at LSIA, which I'll take out for a flight. And if you want to buy a private jet, what I would recommend is spending a little bit more and getting the Nimbus, which I personally have in a luxurious silver and uh, galaxy blue two-tone for a luxurious paint job on it or go with the shamal so you at least have something that does not spawn in the game something a bit different and the last one out of all these sales that i would recommend is the luxor deluxe three million is a lot less than 10 million but it's still three million too much in my opinion 70 percent off it comes with the champagne the gold paint job However, the Nimbus that I have, if you get a Nimbus and you mess with the paint for the uh, silver and gray and galaxy blue colors, I promise you it's going to look a hell of a lot more luxurious than this gold Luxor Deluxe. So, still a hard pass from me. Come on, Lucky 7. Give me something good. Missed it by that much. So yeah, there's a load of vehicle discounts, a lot of good ones. If you do have 15 million or more, you may want to consider some of those. If not, keep saving money for the update. Leading to the next point is there's going to be loads of new vehicles for the Cayo Perico heist as well. Most likely 20 plus new vehicles. So make sure you have enough free garage space. If you're full or getting close to full, you're definitely going to want to pick up some more garage space, which there are some on sale for this week. You can get the garage at the penthouse right here at the casino for 40% off. Also, the Arena War Workshop garages are 40% off. And the CEO office garages as well. You can get three of those, which hold 20 cars each for 40% off. If you need a nightclub, those are 40% off this week as well, as well as 30% off the large warehouses for the CEO crates. And that is everything you guys need to know for these Black Friday sales and discounts. Again, always better to save your money before a huge update like this. If you have 15 million or more, you can consider a few of those as some new toys until then or especially more of the useful ones that were at the beginning or high on my list of uh, those sales. If you have less than 15 million, keep on grinding. Right now I've got just shy of 12 million, so I've got some work to do myself. I've got some uh, duplicate vehicles. I've bought two or three of some vehicles that I'll probably sell a few of those and get on with the grinding. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys will be picking up any of these uh, discounted items as well as how much money you guys have ready for this DLC. That is going to do it for this video. Until the next time, you guys stay cool, keep on playing GTA, and I will see you guys soon in the next video. H2 signing out.